as you check the Hey everyone, welcome back to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Cecil Von Slaughter. Uh, Marsh Parker. That's right, I'm with the ladies today. Uh, that <laughs> way, the re that way. The reason I am uh, sitting here with the ladies today is to wrap up the reviews of the four season long quest that Marsha and I have been on since the beginning, right? Yeah. And Susie joined up, I believe, in season yeah. two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, this is the four year long journey that was Netflix's the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So we've talked about season one, two, and three up to this point, and now they have released the fourth and supposed final season. Mm -hmm. I would imagine it's hard not to be the final season after having watched it, but it was the, you know, the it's the last eight episodes of the entire saga, and we're here to talk about it. So. We're gonna do it like our normal reviews. We're gonna start with our overall thoughts, then we'll start with the story, or then we'll go to, rather, the story, the acting, the effects, all of that good stuff in turn. And I'm gonna try and keep my overall thoughts brief, shorter, and just say that while I did enjoy this season a lot more than season three, <clears throat> I do think that it had its definite shortcomings throughout the entire season. Mm -hmm. um, various things that I'll touch on throughout the review. But overall, I was glad that it ended up, even though it was, I was kind of shocked at how they ended up ending it. And in spite of that, I did enjoy the ride I got in season four. So I got to say, overall, I enjoyed it. I still had my issues, but I do think that it is, you know, much better than season three. I can't remember how it was in relation to season uh, two, so I don't know. It's it's better than season three. That's the most I can say about it at this point. <laughs> Susie, what are your thoughts? I actually, so I actually just watched the final episode when I got here to Cecil, so it's super fresh in my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually really enjoyed it as well, but I think considering that they knew that they weren't going to be renewed for another season, mm -hmm. I think that they. I really, I really enjoyed it, but like the the final, I was kind of like, what? Felt super rough. I think everyone heard me. Yeah, I, I, did. <laughs> I did. Yeah, so Marsha. Um, I thought they did an okay job. Like, they definitely did, the the series definitely did a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Two is still by far my favorite season. Um, it was the most aggressive and horrific. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember too. Now. And a lot more fun, and it made me so excited because I thought the rest of the series was going to be... We have our own Salem. Ah! <laughs> be in that, um, in that manner, but it, it wasn't... And I felt like, you know, this was the end of a series, and they could, it could have been worse. It could have been better, um, but it was, it was okay. I didn't hate it. Um, I didn't hate Sabrina as much as I did in season one and three, <laughs> so that's good. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like they leaned heavily, more heavily on the supporting cast than they did Sabrina. Mm -hmm. I this, agree. Mm -hmm. In this um, time, and, and who knows why they decided to go that route, but uh, it, it, I think that's why I didn't hate her as much. But <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so it was all right. It was, it was a good finale, I think. So the story is uh, wrapping, or you know, following up on, on the end of season three, in which we saw that Sabrina had basically split herself into two versions of herself: one to rule hell, and one to exist because in I'm Greendale. Totally safe. Yeah, totally safe. Um, <laughs> we knew that that was not going to end up ultimately working out, and it was just a matter of how it happened. Mm -hmm. And so, season four is a eight-episode season. That is all about okay, Rose. Okay, okay. She's like, I'm, I'm good being on camera on my terms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So there are eight episodes, and they are battling this season the eight eldritch terrors. Mm -hmm. So basically, every episode has to do with a different eldritch terror and what they're gonna do about it. And it, to me, made for a more focused and streamlined season. Uh, however they still peppered it with a lot of the kind of annoying teenage melodrama that had permeated the third and even the second season of the show. So 
it was a little all over the place, but yes, it was it was Sabrina and crew versus the eight Eldritch Terrors, mm -hmm. and ultimately those terrors result in the resolution of the dual Sabrinas as well as you know everyone's story as it were or as much as we could have asked for it to be resolved i guess in such a short amount of time so story wise i did like the streamlined aspect i did like the grandiose eldritch terrors this felt like a super focused half season of supernatural to me um in structure and so i i quite liked it as a result of that um, there were just a lot of things that I feel like they made some poor decisions on, which we'll get to. But yeah, story-wise, I, I liked it compared to some of the other stuff we've gotten. Okay, story-wise. Um, so I went into this when I was watching it. I just, well, I just watched it this past week. And going into it knowing that they were not planning to renew the season. Mm -hmm. So I went into it knowing that. And my lord, did I get a bunch of like I don't even know how to explain it. Like they threw a ton of stuff. A at you. lot of stuff mm -hmm. in this short amount of time, and it's really a shame because and you know that's not to say that someone else could pick it up. That's what happened to Lucifer. It did feel undercooked though. As it a really result. did. I felt mm -hmm. like that. I really enjoyed it, but I felt they put a lot into these last eight episodes. So there's, there's a lot going on in a short amount of time that it, just, it, I don't know. I enjoyed it, but it was like a lot that could have been spread over other seasons. Mm -hmm. But again, knowing that they were being canceled, maybe that had a factor into it. But yeah. Overall, the story Overall, I, you, though? I did. I liked it. It, yeah. was inter it was very entertaining with all the shit going on yeah. all at once. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Marsha? Eh. I mean, it was a... Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess it was a lot, but it was because they, were, they did the same thing that they were doing in every other season that I didn't like, which is they kept throwing in stuff that didn't matter. It didn't even pertain to the story, and it didn't help the story. It didn't support the story. It just was stupid and didn't even need to be in it. Like, I don't care about uh, Sabrina. Like, Sabrina gets, like, a love interest for, like, a, a episode. Mm -hmm. And then she changed her mind again. Uh, I didn't really understand yeah. how, the, how, like, all of a sudden nobody knew that she was split. And then all of a sudden everybody knew she was split. And everybody was okay. And they drew sides of which Sabrina they they were backing behind. And then the two Sabrinas were just like, what else? I'll just sacrifice myself. Like, ah, like what the, what is this? Okay. Garbage. <laughs> like, what is this garbage? Like, it just like, just kill them both and move on. And like, I really wanted to I see feel that. I wanted to see Ambrose be like, you know what, Sabrina, this bitch. Like, but, you know, happen, but he though. did. He did uh, from what a part. He's like, so you're actually taking. Go, yeah. It's before he told the aunties. He said, yeah, you're actually going to tell them and take responsibility. Yeah. Of your actions. Yeah. <laughs> but and it's not even that just was a pleasing like, moment though. Like <laughs> Sabrina's selfishness and and just her like overall like personality flaws. You have to like, keep in mind she's a teenager. Mm -hmm. Who has but magical powers? Still We're talking, even yeah. though so, she turned sixteen in season one. Right, but it just like it just seems odd to me that like they would just go the direction that they did. Yeah, I, I feel like they they kind of glossed over the fact, like I said, like and, and it kind of goes back to your point. They gloss over the fact that she split herself mm -hmm. and is now like they're all like coming after each other. And then there was a whole aspect of the story. That they didn't even touch back with like Lucifer's son, like that's true. There's this whole thing about Lucifer's, Lucifer's son that doesn't go explained because they allude to like, oh, this is Sabrina's fault, or is it her fault? And and it's like, well, what's that? Mm -hmm. We'll never know. And like, what was the purpose of it? Why even have it in there? Why why even talk about it? Why not just focus on the story itself? And I did like the fact that they did the monster of the week. That was fun, um, and 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 I know that's what they were trying to to go by. And the finale I thought was, 
actually like satisfying for me to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> very okay. satisfying. Me too. Made it worth it. Made it worth it. I mean, I, I, and. <clears throat> There's but you had forgotten thing. about it until I had to remind did, you like, about the end. Like, oh, oh yeah, that did have, I did like that. We <laughs> have lives, too. Okay, yeah, I sorry, I, I sleep five hours a night, like, it's, <laughs> and it's interrupted consistently. So, um... So, you're not yeah. so much a fan of the story. No, I mean, I literally, I could sit there and say, I think they could have ended the whole series at two a season two and just stopped. Okay. <laughs> Her ascension as queen yeah. of hell, and then just been like, "That's it, bye." If that's if, if three, if three and four was the result yeah, of season two, fair. then I would have just rather have ended it on season two and that's been fair. sad that there wasn't any more. This did feel <laughs> like a convenient wrap up, and they tried to address everything and ended up glossing over too much as yeah. a result of it, and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the story just didn't quite work as well as I think they wanted it to. It, it did feel pretty crowbarred, as I'm sure it was. Yeah. Um, Acting-wise, everyone did the same they've always done on the yep. show. Um, you know, I don't think anyone pulled me out of it, but some people's characters are just kind of annoying to watch. Yes. Nick, personally, yes. I thought was extremely boring as a character to, to watch. Like, it's yeah. like she's trying so hard to be this, like... Sexy bad boy. Yeah, that's thing. that's now turned over and it's a just new creepy. lead. And it's just eh. they didn't give him enough to chew on. Um, I thought that the whole Theo and her Robin. boyfriend, yeah, Theo his, and Robin, Theo and his, his sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, that storyline was crowbarred in as well. It felt like like it felt like I think so too. All of this was meant for like a twenty episode, like two season arc. That they then had to cram down into eight episodes. Right. Yeah. Um, that's why I feel like it was overstuffed. They tried to make yeah. the last episode like a big, like it was going to be a big war of you know hell and Lucifer and Lilith versus you know the the coven of witches and stuff. And then it just wasn't. And they like took shortcuts around it. And I was like, you know, I feel like if they had had more time to grow, it would have been a little bit better. But anyway, that's too much back on story. Um, acting wise, I didn't have a problem with anyone. It's just that some people didn't get the time to shine, so their characters felt a little extraneous, or I just didn't care about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about you, Susie? Okay, so for me personally, having children, <laughs> Sabrina pisses me off because she's a teenage girl with powers. So as you can expect, it goes that way. She misuses them. Teenage girl with powers. You tell her not to do something, she does it anyway. It pisses me off. <laughs> I just want to shake her. But um, <laughs> seriously, it's it's annoying. It it was she the one thing. Learn either. Yeah, no, she even doesn't. Even it even wasn't being learned usually. Yeah, and it's not even till the end. And when she finally does it in the end, it's like, well, fucking come on! Like you've been having this streak the whole time, and now you're like. Yeah, actually, does Tiny. it? It doesn't compute to me. Like, yeah, like I feel like she. Like you have, there's so much going on. Some, some, some to build up, and then it's like, like she just rolls over, and it's yeah. like that's so unsabrina of you. To exactly. Just roll over, like mm-hmm. exactly. Anyway. Go ahead. From from yeah, I, I think <laughs> acting, that though. I feel the same way. Yeah. Oh, that's how you acting. feel about the acting. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. No, the acting was is consistent all the way through the series, and this one was. You know, just the same. Everybody did a, a fantastic job, regardless of how I felt about the story. All the actors were committed, and they did. They were believable, and nobody pulled me out of it uh, per se. Like I may not like a lot of their characters, or understood, or cared about their their story or their arc, but uh, they they were still there, and, and they mm-hmm. did a good job. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as the, I don't know what to tackle first. <laughs> the effects of the music. Let's tackle the music, which okay. was. Oh, you a mean that big righteous detractor. musical? That was... <laughs> oh, yeah. what is a weird yeah. like? When so we say when these Riverdale, shows, Riverdale, they Riverdale, Riverdale added a band, 
And then in season three of Sabrina, they had to add the band, and they Fright continued Club. the band in season four. I blame Buffy. I hated every single minute of it. There the band, band was called, no, but there's musical episodes. So that doesn't matter. There's a musical no. episode of a lot of stuff at this point. Exactly. Be started they didn't with... even do a musical episode of this, though. It's... They just had the band singing a song occasionally. And, and I do have um, a disagreement about the Battle of the Bands, but we'll get there. But I'm just saying, like, ever since, like, Buffy, every show... Thinks that they have to have a, a no, musical. It's, I'm telling you, like, this one was uh, Riverdale's influence. Riverdale got really popular because Riverdale had a band, and so Riverdale is supposed to be the sister show of yeah. Sabrina. They, they even have... mentioned Riverdale in this season at one yeah, point. They did. So okay. they they, okay. they saw what Riverdale did with the band, and they added a band to Sabrina. And I think it's just ridiculous and stupid. And the band, like the whole battle of the bands thing, was stupid because. No one played any original songs, and it's just like, oh, well, who likes this song more? Is, right, yeah. You know, because it's three different songs, and yeah, depending on which song and you Sabrina like. And Sabrina did not like, win that. She was the worst. The, they Sabrina were, just no, suddenly, not the Doc Mothers. Worst. Sabrina could just suddenly sing and be a part of the band when but that was never though. a thing before. But no. she couldn't, though. Oh, so bad. She was so bad. It was really <laughs> bad. So, yeah, I, I did not like, I thought the score music was good uh-huh. yeah. but anything else that was trying to use pop music or anything like that was a big big failure yeah because this is this is supposed to be like a graphic novel yeah yeah well it's based on a comic yeah right but like an old horror comic yeah so as i was saying earlier when they really pushed everything into this season i mean they fucking crammed it in because mm-hmm. there's yeah i had seen posts before i even watched it about like when's this musical gonna be over it was really for because not even at the Battle of the Bands. Remember, no, they had yeah, yeah. There's other there, stuff. Yeah. In, the other in, times they were singing like they like in this season. Whatever, yeah. yeah, as uh, Fright Club mm-hmm. was their band. So it's just one of like you were saying one of those random things that kind of doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. But they, I guess, felt that it would get a, a rise out of you know watchers. I don't know. And well, they, yeah, and the fact yes. that they call their band Fright Club. I mean, yeah. at who? what 16-year-old nowadays isn't a huge fan of the 1990s Fincher film Fight Club? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Anyway, yeah. Um, so that's the music, which I was not a fan of. Effects-wise, um, I thought the effects were okay at times. Like, yeah. there was a lot of hell-porting. <laughs> hell hell teleporting. Hell teleporting. Um, that, that I thought was kind of, it was okay. It was swirling fire, but... Really, effects-wise, where I think this show shines is the set design. All yeah. the set designs are really cool, and I quite liked Sabrina's Hell Throne this time. I don't know yeah. if it's from the past season, but the throne with the two hands yeah. on both uh-huh. sides, like I thought that was really cool. Yeah, There's a lot of really cool set stuff in this show. Um, they let their designers really run wild to set an atmosphere. Oh my god, it contributes so perfect. much to the atmosphere of the show. Uh, but effects wise, I don't know. I, I thought I thought the effects were good in this season because you got practical effects of yeah. like the uninvited, mm-hmm, right? Yeah. And then, but then you got the practical effect of of the original so Salem weird. the cat, which was just a stuffed cat that okay. went. Rap, 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 rap. <laughs> so I was the effects were all over the place, but for the most part, I enjoyed them. But at, at the same time, like they, I mean, they had to make him like like he was mm. in that realm. Or I liked it. Which, by the way, that's a big problem I have with the season. I'm not going to spoil it, but there is a thing that happens with Salem and Sabrina at the end of an episode, and then the very next episode, they just ignore yeah! Salem. Never, yeah, and never final... to come back. Yeah. Yeah. They they the never fuck? address what happened. He's no. just he's just laying there next to Morningstar at one point, and they never even put him as a primary shot. Shot, and it's it was shark. just a big. Yeah, I mean, ultimately it turned out to be a shark because it really just disappointed me that they never picked up on that thread. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed to be not only is he Salem, but he's supposed to be the, the endless, endless, right? And yet he, he ended, ended going through a mirror. So uh, again. Tiny, tiny spoilers there, and and it just was a huge thing that really upset me because that episode seven, in episode seven and a little bit before, there's a really cool throwback to the original Sabrina series. I think that 
almost in and of itself makes this season worth, worth watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, and that seventh episode, it's like it's like the supernatural meta episode, right? right? Yeah. And so I really liked that one quite a bit. And so um, I, I liked what they did with that, but then when they just threw it away, literally threw it away yeah. at the very beginning yeah. of the next and final episode. Literally at the beginning of the fucking I episode. I was just I so just upset. It. I'm like, why did you bother having both that of them whole, get yeah. like why didn't she just leave him there if that's the case like right. uh, like she saved like uh, anyway I, I, I'll go off for a long time about that because that really upset me I was like <laughs> this episode is saving this season for me and then the end happened and I was like "Ooh, what happens and then the beginning happened I was like yeah you motherfuckers better not just let this go right yeah. now and never mention it again and then they yeah. let it go and never mentioned it again yeah i was very upset about that yeah 100 percent. that was just the beginning or like the middle of my upsetness like okay because because then you go into like oh so sabrina morningstar which is like when did that happen like all of a sudden it's sabrina morningstar and again. everyone's just bought in yeah, like I oh, can't believe that Lucifer's like okay, okay with it. Caliban's okay with it. Like, yeah, Lucifer's like, like, like all that. Cool, well, okay, yeah, well, just cool, yeah. There's yeah, two of you well, now. I mean, you gotta think about it. Well, they don't know it. supposedly. But then, but. like, okay, she's one dies. So what? <laughs> like, you're the false Sabrina. How is she the false Sabrina? She's the original, original Sabrina. Mm -hmm. she's I know. I thought about that too. False daughter. Because he, she didn't. Because she was the daughter. Didn't didn't want to rule over hell. Yeah. The they, other one was one that. Morning star. No, I, morning star. I understand right. that, but it doesn't make sense because just because she she cloned herself doesn't mean she like isn't Sabrina Morningstar anymore. She's but still he's, Sabrina Morningstar. I know, but he's not the daughter that she wanted. Yeah. She doesn't want to rule over hell. It's it's, it's the I devil. understand what, you what you're saying, but it, <laughs> I'm telling you that it is inconsistent. And yes. It doesn't make sense. In the face with hair. And mm -hmm. and annoying. It's super annoying. And then like all and then they're like, We're gonna go to war and then it was like over, over in a second. Oh yeah. yeah, and he's like, I can't believe this. How does she have this kind of power? It's like Bro, you're the fucking Lord of Darkness. You're the devil how the yeah. fuck the other you thing that kills me is impotent. like Lucifer they're, yeah, they're yeah. no longer like worshiping Lucifer, and so they're worshiping some Hecate. Hecate. Um, it's pronounced Hecate, Hecate, by the way. Not in the show. I don't give a fuck. They're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong. Saying. That's not how you pronounce it. I was very upset about that. <laughs> I didn't know you could just switch like that. Yeah, apparently uh, you can just switch up. And, and not only she? and and not only can you switch, That's but apparently, true. apparently you won't risk any wrath from, from the Lucifer. guy that you've been. <laughs> That you pledged your soul you know, to. Yeah, pledged your soul to and been worshipping for eons upon eons. That was one thing I uh, I was I was really disappointed about because Hecate, she's like, she's my girl. So I was excited. I was like, oh my god, she's going to be in this? I was so excited to see how they were going to, you know, show her form and everything. And they didn't. I've it always heard Hecate, even outside of the show. Okay. 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 You got that Italian or whatever it is. Italian. I don't know. Yep. Tecate. That's, that's what that shows. Tecate. It sounds like you're saying Tecate. Tecate. <laughs> tecate. <laughs> Can I get the oh, line with tecate. that? Tecate. Like, and she's such a force to be reckoned Excuse with. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Dos Tecates, please. <laughs> Why the fuck wouldn't you utilize that? Because you know what I mean? No, have, I agree. No, well, they and they, well they did at times. Like, so, well, when Beelzebub and bro show up and then the whole yeah. coven's on the front porch and they just go blah 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 and like kings of hell are like ah. it's like oh so the kings so of they, hell don't have more power because than... Hecate, but because they Hecate, uh, gave her their power but they should have showed her you like they should have yes like they're they're praying to her there are isn't she's... that who the woman in black was in the last episode when she showed up briefly watching them like there was, oh, was I fucking Black's. hope not. I thought that was who that was supposed to be. Either the one of the three versions of. of her oh team. fuck no! I'm sorry. If that was the case, if that was that was the only thing. Her, that was the only thing I took away. From I'm it. even more pissed. I mean, it should have been a version of three. Right? I thought it was Lilith. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, I don't think it was. Well, maybe it was. I don't know. Anyway. If that was the case, anyway. I'm fucking pissed. Oh, so no, effects trash. wise, did the effects what? bother you guys at all? Did you no. have a, I mean, no, I was so I was, so, I was really enough. enjoying it. Like I was into it, so it really didn't okay. phase me. No, I thought they they're very consistent. Well, production value, hands down, the show does it. Yeah, is, does great. I mean, the money's there. They put the time, they put the effort. The only thing that fell short, really, is just the story. story yeah, and how it plays out. Yeah, that's fair. They that's could fair. have done such 
and I think it's yeah, like they way were on track to do some really cool it's, stuff. It's, yeah, I, I wanna, and then they I just lost know. their way. They went to Riverdale in season three. Yeah, I don't. That's what I'm like. How do you go so dark as they did in season two? Like I was so dark enough excited. that they had to go to Netflix instead of the CW, like right. Riverdale. And did. then you just go backwards. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing that happened with. Yeah. With The Walking Dead and even Stranger Things, they, they, they kind of neuter them. themselves. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, why? What do you? Who are you listening to? Because it's obviously not your favorite. That's true. She did snap the neck of a classmate in like season two. And I was okay, like, um, that was a whole room. Yeah. God, yeah. she levitates. She like. Yeah. She yeah. Looks like, they never, they never she achieved looks that level like again. She looks like an evil yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And it is takes amazing. everybody out. It was phenomenal. They never, they never even, got to that level. I they verbally so, said yeah. something out loud while I was watching it. And Pete was like, what are you watching? I'm like, well, the Prima just kicked her ass. This is yeah. yeah. And, then, yeah. And, then, and then it was like, oh, who pussy whipped this? Like, yeah. I, Season three I and four was like the 90210 version of it. So they yeah. should, that's why I like, they should have just stopped. They if they can, weren't going to keep going in that direction, they should have. should have. Just cut it out. So I, that's the thing, it, guys. Um, I mean, if you enjoy the Sabrina <laughs> show... It kind of depends on how you feel about season three, whether you're going to like season four or not. If you enjoyed season three, you might enjoy season four. We did not, and so there were aspects of season four we didn't like. They were wrapping up the show, so they were able to do some cool stuff, which provided for some cool moments. Yeah. But ultimately, <clears throat> did the story itself, um, you know, justify those cool moments or make up for? the the badness in and amongst the cool moments you know what i mean like that's that's where you have to question it yeah and i think it just as i said at the very beginning i enjoyed a lot of aspects of this season but there were some things that just really pulled me out of it with decision making on the showrunner's part as well as on Sabrina's well i think part. it was pretty yeah. sudden when they found out it wasn't going to be renewed well no i don't think it well i don't i don't know if they had like been I don't know how far into production they were when they found out. Right. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying, like... But I don't think it was as sudden as, like, oh, we only have two episodes left to film. We better right. wrap it no, up. Right, of course not. I don't not. think it was that. But, I mean, it's not to say that it wouldn't get picked up by someone else, because that's what happened with Lucifer. But... But it was with, Netflix that but, picked it up. <laughs> but, but, with how they ended it, yeah, there's do? not. Yeah, there's not. You can't. You got to. You got to start a whole new. Book. You could, but if you're going to explain it of as to why certain things happened and why they happened now, you better have. Don't bullshit the episode. You got a lot of explaining. Yeah, do. you got a lot of explaining to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Any other final <laughs> thoughts, guys? It's over. <laughs> All right, Marsha. <laughs> I'm just sad. I'm no, it, it, no, I'm it's sad true. because I had a lot of high hopes. Yeah, and and I don't and I did like season four better than I like season three. Uh, two is the the only reason why I would watch it again. I would just watch season two because I thought that was the coolest season. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, like I'm just really frustrated with these shows, like getting my hopes up and then crushing my dreams. I'm just I'm it's just, true. <laughs> I was pretty pissed. Every, I think everyone heard me in the house when yeah. the ending happened. You were enjoying some of it, though. I like was, the but then the ending happened. I was like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> yeah. You liked when, when Lucifer the, got Lilith. You were enjoying well, that. Well, Lilith. <laughs> she, got, she, got, she got him back. Really mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Like, so oh, shit. <laughs> that's going to do it for our review of the fourth and final season of The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix. Thank you very much for coming along on this review ride with us if you've watched all of them. Even if not, if this is the first one you've watched, thank you so much for sticking through it to this point. We greatly appreciate it, you guys. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Cecil Von Slaughter. Uh, Marsh Springer. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.